Train Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John and that's Zach behind the camera and this is Playing Trade Guitars where of course we play it and trade it. We're continuing our look at the best selling guitars from both Epiphone and Gibson. Today picking up with Epiphone looking at the much requested Epiphone Les Paul Prophecy. This is kind of a two in one video because of course we're gonna talk about the Prophecy itself with some really cool modern and high end features. But then it's also kind of a look at these Fishman Fluence pickups. What is a Fishman Fluence pickup? We'll take the guitar apart, we'll talk about all of it on the bench when we talk specs and then of course we'll plug it in and play it to let you hear all the sounds capable from this Fishman Fluence set. But at the top, if you're in the market for guitar or any gear, Please consider using our purchase link because it supports our channel directly when you buy using our link. And then also sign up for our Gleam giveaway and subscribe to the channel so that you can be in it to win it, that Les Paul from the Gibson Custom Shop. A couple of standout features on this, you're gonna have a real ebony fretboard, 24 frets, of course the Fishman Fluence pickup set, which is active, so you'll have a nine volt battery. There's also a compatible char rechargeable battery pack that Fishman makes. Uh, nice kind of satin uh, gloss finish, which is pretty cool with the red, I like it. Uh, these customized block inlays with the split diamond headstock like you can see on a Les Paul Custom. Nice little upgrade here too, you've got the Grover locking tuners, and then something very cool, especially at this price range, um, and speaking of price, these were $8.99. They actually just dropped the price $200 on most finish options. Check that out online if you're buying because it's dropped to $6.99. Uh, but check this out. At this price, you even have an asymmetrical neck carve. So the radius of the neck is traditional 12 inch Gibson, but then you have a little more meat in the back of the neck because they've given you that asymmetrical carve. We'll take a closer look on the bench. Let's head over and take it apart before we plug it in and play it. Got this inspired by Gibson open book Epiphone headstock. I love what they did here with the binding and the split diamond, just like a Les Paul Custom. Um, coming down, you got a synthetic nut, but check out these block inlays. They have a matching kind of triangle pyramid inlay here that matches the finish of the body, which is really sharp. Binding on the fretboard as well, and then binding on the body, which looks nice. Now check out this AAA flame top. How do they do that at this price? They do it with a veneer. So you have this veneered maple top on a mahogany body. You got um, the Fishman Fluence set of pickups and let's get right to it. What makes them different than regular pickups? There's no wound copper coil of wire at all. These are basically circuit boards that are pressed together, programmed with up to two different voices each at the factory using pretty sophisticated computer software and then giving you extra control options to trigger those voices on and off. There are no noise. Um, they're actually pretty amazing. It's kind of the latest generation of pickup technology. How do they sound? I can't wait to find out. I don't have a ton of experience. We've played a few reverends with them, but I'm just as interested as much as I am so in the guitar uh, in finding out how these Fishman Fluence pickups sound. So we'll put it through the paces when we do that. Uh, the rest of this nice, uh, really nice um, nickel hardware. Everything looks really sharp. Flipping it on the back, you're going to have a contoured Les Paul body, which is nice. And then check this out, contoured uh, neck heel as well for better access to the upper register. I talked about it having an asymmetrical neck. What does that mean? It means that there's actually more heft to the base side of this neck than there is the treble side. And uh, especially if you're kind of thumb over or um, in a grip, uh, you can really feel that. It's pronounced, it's shaped kind of like a teardrop, a backwards teardrop, uh, or like an airplane wing. And it's just meant to give a little bit more some support on the base side of your hand. Great upgrade here with the Grover locking tuners. Uh, these are currently being made in China. And you can see that matte satin finish that they have going on. This is going to be finished in poly um, instead of nitro. With the strings out of the way, we can get another close look at this true ebony board and then these acrylic inlays. Um, nice, nice, nice little, it's almost like a little bit of Art Deco look going on here with the red triangles that match the body, the AAA flame veneer. Uh, but nice touch that they have an ebony board on here, 24 frets. And then let's go ahead and get some neck measurements. 1.67 inch nut. First fret at 0 0.81 inches. 12th fret at 0 0.89 inches. So a slim taper, asymmetrical neck. Body thickness, just to point out again, you have this contoured body, which would be more comfortable if you prefer that, and then the body thickness at 1.91 inches. Mahogany body, uh, I'm assuming this one's weight relieved, and then this maple cap. So as I pull these Fishman Fluence pickups out, you know, it's one of those interesting things. It's new technology and you kind of read from Fishman what they are and then you kind of think about it for a second and you go, 
So what is it? And the best that I can gather is that instead of wound coils, you're going to have pancake layers of circuit boards that are programmed using a computer to house up to two voices. And those two voices can pretty much be anything that you dial in. But once you have those voices committed through this high precision technology embedded in these boards, I think they call them cores, so that each one has two cores per pickup, you have access to those voices and it's going to be consistent sound regardless of volume level, it's going to be noise free, and then you get all these switching options to be able to call those voices up on demand via the tone and volume. Let's flip these over and see what they look like on the back. There we go, so we got this kind of green circuit board look. And what you, were to, what you would see if you took these apart, and drop a comment because you may know more than I do about this uh, set of pickups. If you were to disassemble this, rather than wound copper, you're going to see layers of board pressed together forming two cores. And then you can see quite a bit more wiring going on because there's quite a bit more to work with in terms of the sounds and options, especially when you get into the, pu the push-pull configurations to recall those core sounds. Um, but pretty cool technology. I'm really uh, excited, optimistically excited to see how it sounds. And then looking down in the body here, you can get a look at that uh, mahogany body, maple cap, a few factory marks down in the neck pocket there. So the way Epiphone has designed these Epiphone Fishman Fluence pickups is to have options on the push-pull to have a vintage sound, like a PAF sound, and then a more modern sound. And that'll be really interesting to listen to. We'll see what kind of measurements we dial in when we get a reading here. Uh, I'm in uncharted territory here. The multimeter tells me nothing, so I guess we'll move on to the, the, the all, the never failing ear test, right? So this is usually the part where I would tell you what each of these controls do with the push-pull. One frustrating thing about this guitar, it doesn't come with any card or information that tells you what they do with these Fishman Influence pickups, and I can't find anything from Epiphone online whatsoever. So my best guess, until we get to our playing demo, is that this is a coil split on the volumes, and then each of these tones are going to engage the two different core sounds, one being a PAF vintage style, style sound, and the other being the more modern sound. Um, should be a little bit brighter, a little bit more articulate and clear. So you can see here on the back of the control panel that because it's an active pickup system, it actually does take a 9-volt battery. You can get a rechargeable system which fits over this control plate and then you plug in with like a USB adapter. But for the demo today, I'm just going to make sure we have a fresh battery so I don't have to worry about it. Now I will admit to you personally that if a guitar takes batteries and, and needs an instruction manual, it's already a strike against it in my book. But I wish they made the information a little bit more accessible, if anything. Let's see what's going on under the hood. So we've got the taller push-pull import pots here and a whole lot of cabling going on for the different sounds. Yeah, this might be one of those demos where it's more important to hear it than to talk about it because it's kind of a mystery. This feels pretty light. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this is a weight relieved body. Let's see where it clocks in. Exactly eight pounds. So this guitar is exactly eight pounds on the nose. Initial playing reactions is I just kind of grab the neck here. It's a fairly slim neck. You definitely feel that little bit of extra meat hitting your thumb from the asymmetrical carve. Uh, to have the 24th fret, it's pretty cool. The extra access afforded by this carve too is a nice touch. So I mean there are some really, really attractive high-end features on this guitar um, just from the design standpoint. It's worth noting that if you decide you don't like the Fishman Fluence, they are humbucker size, so it wouldn't be a big deal at all to rewire this guitar with traditional pickups. I mention that only because there's some other really nice features about this guitar that it seems a little bit polarizing to have the Fishman system in there. Things like the asymmetrical neck, ebony board, everything else about this guitar, the locking tuners that come stock, are really, really solid, attractive features about the guitar at this price range. So that already has very much going for it. So why don't we head over and plug in and see what these Fishman Fluence pickups sound like. We'll go through all the positions in a direct clean situation. We'll crank up a rip and then we'll put it behind a track to let you hear it in context. Remember if you're in the market use our purchase link to buy and these are $200 off um, so check that out while you can and uh, let's head over and plug it in. I'm excited to see what happens.
Les Paul Prophecy. I attempted to give it a good, honest feel and playthrough. I might not be the right player for this guitar, to tell you the truth. I'll be very honest with you. This guitar is clearly designed for somebody pumping high gain. I think it does great if you want that noiseless experience with a lot of body through those active pickups. That said, I'm not a huge fan of the Fishman Fluence pickups. However, I do think that they have a lot of body to them, when, especially when you crank them up. And the other half of this equation, the equation here is the guitar itself. And actually, the guitar feels great. It's got this ebony fretboard, this asymmetric uh, neck carve. It's easy to get around. Uh, 24 frets, I don't typically play a guitar with 24 frets, but I find this one really conveniently easy to get all the way up there with this neck carve. I think the guitar itself, the way it's built, they knocked it out of the park. I think the thing that's really gonna separate, you know, oil and water here is if you like these Fishman Fluence. If I was to buy this guitar, buy it now, it's on sale for $200, pull the Fishmans out and put something else in. Um, because the guitar itself, the construction is fantastic. So this is probably a good opportunity to get it while it's on sale. Or if you like the Fishman Fluence, drop a comment and let us know what type of music you're using this guitar for. Uh, I cannot knock the construction, it feels fantastic. So this has been our look at the Les Paul Prophecy from Epiphone with those Epiphone Fishman Fluence design pickups. Pretty cool modern bag of tricks here and uh, not a gimmick, made really well. $699 for some of the select finishes right now. Check that out using our purchase link. Make sure you're subscribed for our Gleam giveaway. And hey, drop a comment and let us, let us know what you think of my playthrough on this and let us know what you're doing with your Epiphone Prophecy or if you're gonna be picking up one soon. If not, what are you in the market to buy? We'd love to hear from you. See you guys on the next demo. This was a lot of fun. Thank <laughs> you.